As the sun rose over Bangtao this past Sunday, the sand was awash with athletes gearing up to take part in the 22nd annual Laguna Phuket Triathlon. With more than 1,300 pros, eager amateurs, relayists and age group athletes lining up, the final word of encouragement before the horn came from Thailand's Minister of Tourism and Sports, Kopkar Watanavan Kun. Then they were off with wave after wave of rubber-headed spandex-clad trifesters hitting the calm sea, hoping for a fast swim and a place on the podium at the end of the day. Athletes from 44 nations gathered to take part in this year's LPT, including 66 relay teams, many of which were made up of local athletes and included a team from the Phuket Gazette. There were also quite a few local faves in the crowded start lines, including Thai Tri Pro Jure Jiranai and Atawara Kong Malai, better known by his state name to Body Slam. Most of the pros were out of the water in 30 minutes, and then it was on to the 55km cycling section of the triathlon. Among the familiar faces in the pro field were Swiss Olympian Rudy Wilde, who took the gold at last year's Challenge Laguna Phuket, and the Italian boys Massimo Sagana and Alberto Casadei, who made history at last year's LPT by crossing the finish line for a joint first place win. Although not strictly a new face to the field, world champion Michael Reiler from Germany was definitely the face to watch. Michael, fresh from defending his title in Miami, Florida, was also the winner of the Laguna 70.3 race back in 2011 and set a fierce pace for the other pros to follow. In the pro women's field, Switzerland's Simone Brandly took gold almost five minutes ahead of world duathlon champion Emma Pallant of Great Britain, with Phuket-based Australian pro Dimity Lee Duke taking third place. Third place went to Stuart Hayes of Great Britain, with the two Italians Massimo and Alberto following him home in fourth and fifth places respectively. Michael Ryler just managed to stay ahead of Rudy Wilde, opening up the gap during the run to take gold in just 2 hours 30 minutes and 14 seconds, just 2.5 minutes ahead of the Swiss Olympian. At a lavish awards party that evening, the sun-baked athletes picked up their prizes, including a third place in the relay for the Gazette team. There's more action coming up from Laguna as the pros get prepped this week for the big one next Sunday, 29 November. The Challenge Laguna Phuket Triathlon will pit pro and amateurs against the much tougher 1.9k swim, 90k bike ride and 21k run. If this week's heat holds, it's going to be a tough race for everyone, especially this guy. See you at the start line.